You, we are Israel United in Christ. We out here teaching our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native American that's listed on this side right here, that we are the children of Israel according to the Bible. Do you agree with that, sis? I agree. Okay, so let me ask you a question, sis. Do you, do you, uh, do you believe in God? I believe in a God. Do you believe in a God? Yeah. Okay, uh, so do you believe in the God of this Bible? That's right. You see, of course, in the gender, the, the gender meaning what? Is God a man or a woman? So, so what, what? What would you think God is? By the nature of soul, I believe it's a woman. You believe it's a woman? Yeah. Uh, go, go. To, well, we can prove out the Bible that, according to the Scripture, God is not a woman, sister. So, so is, is it your Bible? Is it this Bible? Is it every Bible? Is it every Bible? No, women do have a say so. Women do have a say so. No, no, no. But we all was brought up in many different ways that was wrong. Precepts is a law. Law and law. But it said, it's, hold on, sis. It said, 
have read about them or heard of them. No, but actually do. So that's an action word. That means you're not going to have no uh, understanding about this Bible unless you actually doing the commandments, which that's takes right. action. You just can't say, oh, yeah, I heard about that commandment or I heard about that law. But not, not one day you wake up, you apply it to yourself and you're making sure that you're doing it. And it Okay, okay, now I see where you're going, sis. I'm going to deal with that. I'm speaking well, I'm spiritual. I believe that it is God. Right. I'm questioning why do we make women suffer so long about so many things? And if you guys can stand out like this, you guys can bring teaching to the youth. That's as well. Okay, but since that was two different questions, the first one you said. I'm not questioning it. I'm not questioning it. I'm questioning it. Give me that. That the woman. 
I'm going to be you some silent, learning silent. You got Martha, you got Ruth, you got Sarah. Right. And, you, and all those names that you... They don't even mention them women in the Bible. But the Bible mention the women. Stuff. Your Christian church might don't mention these women in the Bible, but we mention them all the time. I'm just saying. Read. The book of First Timothy, uh -huh. chapter 2, verse 11. Uh -huh. Let the woman learn in silence. That's what the Bible says. See, now a lot of our sisters hear this, and then they think like, oh, they bad. The women, this or it's a overpowering the women, exactly but that's not all of her. That's what I'm saying. That's not, I, I didn't write, the, I didn't put that line in the Bible. You when didn't put that line in the Bible. He didn't. That's God's the word. word. When they don't step up to the word, read it again. We have a let the woman learn in silence. God said, Let the women learn in he silence. Said, let the women learn in silence. With all subjection. You, with all subjection. So that means when a man is breaking out the word, you're not on your phone, on FaceTime talking over the prophets while we bring it out the word. That's not what all subjection says. But you said you believe in the Bible. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.